What's up, royalties? Um, dang, I missed a week for uploading. But things got busy. End of the semester, finals, all that good stuff. So we back either way it goes. It's not like I took like six days off. I'm not gonna tap YouTube, right? But we back. Um, so what we're doing today is, I know you see the water in the back boiling. What I'm gonna do today is, I was feeling like I should do something with the excessive amount of white clothing that I have. So what I'm gonna do is create like a little spring fit, I guess, spring fit look, whatever, something like that. And I went to Walmart and I was like, yo, what should I do? Well, I thought, you know, I don't wanna buy anything. I wanna make it, I wanna do like a little DIY, you know, a little do it yourself in the kitchen type of deal. So, what stood out to me the most in Walmart was this red dye. It's a neon green, red neon. And that's how you say it in Spanish, it's neon green. So look, so look. I'm looking at myself right now. I find myself in the But look, anyway, like I was saying, this is neon green, right? So what I'm gonna do is, well, I'm not gonna show you to the end, but I'm gonna show you like how I'm dying in the process. So rip dye isn't like the best dye, don't get me wrong. This is like last minute type of thing. Amazon has better dyes that stick a lot better. But since this is a light color, I'm gonna go with the rip dye because the rip dye usually works for light. For dark, not so much. Um, what you start with though, for any purposes is, big pot of boiling water. Kind of want to use stainless steel because this does stain. It comes out, but it stains bad. So you want to use stainless steel and you also want to use some iodized salt. So the salt helps the dye stick inside the fabric. That's the best way for your dye to stay. So I guess we're going to see how this come out. I'll walk y'all through the process. So let's get into it. Right here, you want to add your red dye. Get the red dye in there. We're only using like one third because we're going to ombre it. Of course, you got to add the salt as well so that it sticks to the fabric. And then, at this point, you want to mix it up. So, I'm looking for a spoon, I think. Yeah, I was looking for a spoon. But yeah, make sure it's mixed up really well. And then, we're going to start with the vans. Yeah, we're going to start with the vans. Try to get the vans a nice, good neon green color so that they pop. Um, what's next here? Okay, so now we have the vans, and if you can see, they got that nice little green, that little green neon color. I messed that all the way up, but yeah, they got that nice little green color to them, and. I don't have a spoon. I don't know why I'm using. I don't even know what that is, honestly. What is that? Whatever. It doesn't matter. But you want to soak these vans. I would say probably like 10, 15 minutes is good. It's gonna stick regardless. And I soaked mine as well. So now we have the shirt. So we're come. We're using the shirt now at this point. So we're gonna dip the shirt all the way to the point that we want the green to stop. So I think I went about halfway-ish, but this is the first layer. So remember, we're gonna ombre this shirt. So when we ombre this, we wanna go all the way to the starting point, but we're not gonna leave it in there long because we want this color to be light. So we want the white to fade into the yellow. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Um, so you can see like it's like a, a lighter yellow. It's not the full neon green yet. And we're gonna repeat this with the pants and so on and so forth.
Okay, so now I got my trusty dusty knife, some scissors, and I got the sandpaper. So now we're gonna distress the jeans. So um, when it comes to distressing, and right now I'm just like cutting out the square where I want it to be just simply open. But we need to stress. Luckily I had a knife that was kind of sharp and dull. So when I cut my lines, it already started to fray. But what you'll notice when I'm doing my distressing, I'm taking the blunt end of the knife and I'm going back and forth to cause a lot of fraying on the uh, actual part where like I cut at and like where I made my lines at. So like if you see right now where I'm cutting, the square looks just like an ugly square. But when I take the knife and the sandpaper and I fray it, it looks more distressed. It looks more professional. Right now, if you look at the square, the square is going to look hideous. Bear with me. When it's all said and done, it's out here looking fantastic. Is that a word? Nobody correct me if it isn't. Just go along with it. Fantastimo. Like one DC mode, but like fantastimo. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to give you all a little gist of what distressing looks like. And then what happened to the next thing. back what we did with the shoes and I didn't get them on camera um but I had Maya go in on my shoes because she can draw way better than I can but I told her just go in and freestyle it so she added some freestyle art here there's freestyle art on the tips of them and then freestyle art on this side of the vans so we took a pair of plain white vans that I really didn't wear like that anymore Freestyled them up, added some color, and some longevity to them. So as you come up to the pants, these were pants that I did not wear. They were all white. We went ahead and ombre from a lighter neon down to the full effect of the neon, which kind of blends into the shoe as well. As you come up on the pants, the pants, we went ahead and distressed. Um, of course, you guys saw in the video, there was a lot of distress going on. As you come up to the top, the same thing happened with the shirt. So the shirt started off as that light, then brought up into that darker neon. Fitted this out with my fanny pack. Of course, my braces to match. And that is the do-it-yourself outfit. And this was just clothes that I did not wear at all. Um, total of this, $3. The only thing I had to pay for was the actual dye. I think the dye came out perfect. So if you ever trying to dye your clothes in distress, it's a perfect video for you, honestly. Um, let me go ahead and do like a little, little turnaround for y'all so you all see. All in all, I think the fit is great. Um, I'm saying um so much. I don't even know why I'm a better talker than this. But uh, anyways, look, follow my Instagram and that's where you'll see pictures coming soon in this outfit. This is Spring Edition DIY. Of course, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more royalty fashion coming to a theater near you.